Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be showing how to make mittens out of a sweater. Now the last video we did was how to make a beanie from a sweater. And we're just going to have and use the same sweater for our mittens as we did for the beanie. So they'll actually be matching. So it's really simple and there's not much to it. So let's just get started. All right, the method that we're going to be using for measuring our hand is really simple. We're just going to be tracing it. So for this, the right mitten, I want this snowflake right here to be the main image on there. So I'm just going to place it right on there. And then the trim along the bottom, which is going to be the cuff, I'm gonna place it right, right at the bottom of my hand. And then you're just gonna go ahead and trace right around. And you're gonna to wanna to trace a little bit out so you have seam allowance, but not too far that you make it too big. So just a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of seam line. And for the left one, we're going to be showing a different method on how to do the cuffs. So you can pick any point on the sweater. You don't have to worry about where the ribbing is or where the cuff is. So I want this snowflake to be on the left mitten. So I'm just going ahead and place it there and trace. Okay, now for the mitten, the left mitten that we're adding ribbing onto, you're going to want to add on about an inch and a half of ribbing to the bottom of the mitten part that you've cut out already. So we're going to be folding the ribbing that we cut in half, or that we cut, we're going to be folding it in half. So you're going to want to double the width, which will make it three inches. And then, you're going to measure the end of your mitten, which here is three inches, which would, three inches, which all the way around your wrist would be six inches. And you'll just wanna shorten it a little bit, so we'll make it five inches long. Now we're, this is the fold right here, so we're going to want to mark it at two and a half. So this is going to be looking really short, but remember everything is doubled. Next we're going to sew it, which very simple. We are just going to sew around all the raw edges of the mitten. And since the bottom of the cuff is already finished, that's, that's it. Now for the left mitten, we're adding on the ribbing. So again, we're going to want to put right sides together for the mitten and for the ribbing. And we're just going to sew along this straight edge on the side. And then once that's sewn, we're going to flip it in half and then sew it right onto the mitten. Once you've got these parts sewn, 
Then we're going to attach them both by putting the right sides together, the right side of the ribbing and the right side of the mitten and matching up the seam line of the ribbing with the seam line of the mitten. And we're going to do that and pin at the seam line, then stretch it directly across to the other seam line and pin it there. And that will ensure that the ribbing is evenly stretched around the entire cuff of the mitten. All right, so here are the two different types we made. This one is with the natural cuff from the sweater. This is the one with the ribbing added on. And these are just really quick, simple ones that we've done. We're considering making a more in-depth one that has including liner and um, a better detailed cuff around the bottom. Um, but these are just two really quick, simple do-at-home ones with what you've got. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I hope it was an easy to follow one. And we hope to see you in our next video. Please like and subscribe. Leave us some comments. Let us know what you think. If there's any other winter festive DIYs you'd like to see, let us know. And thanks again. Bye.